So what if you could feed your cat the most natural diet? Your cat gets everything. It's nice mental stimulation from chewing without the worry of feeding whole, big, raw, meaty bones. And you don't have to buy separate parts and Frankenstein them all together. Everything is included in that one food. It's also much easier to portion and serve. That sounds really nice, right? <laughs> well, I think I found the answer and that is whole prey. So I'm starting to transition Jericho to a whole prey diet alongside feeding a complete ground raw diet just because I found that that's easier than making homemade cat food and then also portioning it out, portioning out whole prey. And actually I'm cutting my meal prep time in half, which is amazing. And I think it's going to be even, even quicker when I do full whole prey. And when you're feeding a variety of whole prey, like last week we talked about the different nutrient profiles and what cats eat in their natural diet. And you know, you're feeding a lot of variety, your cat's getting higher nutrition, that mental stimulation, like I mentioned, from chewing on the whole prey, and it's easier for you, love it. Hello my friend, it is Jess and my boss Jericho, sunning in the window like a cat does. So. The first benefit that I want to talk about with whole prey, and we touched on this last week, like I mentioned, is that the nutrition profiles are higher. So we went over this study that compiled 55 different studies where they took samples of the scat stomach contents or the gut of our feral free roaming cats. So these guys, but they just live outside. And they found that the nutrient profiles of their prey, mice, rats, voles, other rodents, rabbits, small birds, and then other small things like fish and carrion and invertebrates and insectivores and reptiles and amphibians, you know, all those little critters. They found that the nutrient profiles, so the moisture, well, moisture was about the same as wet and raw. And then they took the protein, the fat, the ash, which is minerals and the starches. And they also talked about the minerals and all of the minerals were much higher than what the food institutions recommend for pet food companies when they're formulating diets. So that's really interesting because, you know, we, we all want the best nutrition for our cats, right? That's why we're here. And we know that feeding processed food isn't the way to get that. That's why a lot of us are feeding raw. And now I'm feeding whole prey just because I found that it's easier, but also because of this really, really high nutrient density and the nutrient profile from heated, from feeding whole prey. And this is essential because we are what we eat, right? Like nutrition is fuel, food is fuel. You put the wrong fuel in a car, it doesn't run properly, right? Now, I'm obviously homemade raw meat bones in a raw diet is absolutely great. There's higher minerals, etc. But I also just like the ease of feeding whole prey and, and just the fact that it's smaller and more appropriately sized. There aren't that many options for raw meaty bones when it comes to cats, and we know that we need to feed variety. So I really like the idea of feeding whole prey because it's smaller, the, bo the bones are easier to crush, and you're getting the whole entire prey. So there's a lot that's in whole prey that we can't source or feed when we're feeding a homemade raw meaty bones diet. For example, eyeballs, brain. Yeah, you can buy these things, but how long is that, that going to sit in your freezer? You know, I mean, even with the liver, kidney, and spleen, I would eat it just so that it wasn't sitting in the freezer for a year because I've got one cat. The secreting organs make up a very tiny amount of the whole diet. So if you're, even if you are getting eyeballs and brains and pancreas, it's, it's going to be, you know, you're divvying out a very, very tiny amount when you're making your cat's food every week. The other benefit of feeding whole prey is the mental stimulation. Now, of course, if you're already feeding homemade raw meaty bones like I was with Jericho, before I started feeding whole prey, your cat is getting that mental stimulation, chewing on chunks of meat, chewing on the raw meaty bones. But as I mentioned, you know, there, there really aren't that many options for raw meaty bones. And especially if you found that your cat doesn't do well on chicken, I mean, that kind of eliminates but that's necks and wings right there. I have heard that duck necks are okay. I tried them. I think Jericho just has issues chewing on certain ones because he does have dental issues. He's got inflammation, so he can't chew on one side, so I'm currently saving up for a dental cleaning. But I've found with whole prey, he has no problem, even though he can only chew on one side because the bones are much softer. I talked about this a little bit last week, but Mice are really small, and most prey are really small, honestly. I mean, even an adult quail, which is like about seven ounces, the bones are so soft and small that 
you can break them yourself. So your cat has absolutely no problems chewing through them. Now, the other thing that I mentioned before, another benefit that I really like is that it's easy to portion. So I've, I, I mean, I had a good routine going with homemade raw meaty bones and I was doing eight weeks worth of food. I think active time, it was about one and a half to two hours active time, meaning I'm standing and I'm prepping the food and then I'm vacuum, vacuum sealing the food. But on top of that, there's the hours that it takes to thaw the food, a few hours that it takes to let the food freeze a little bit before you vacuum seal it. So it's, you know, kind of becomes a whole day thing, which is fine. I mean, that's two months worth of food that I'm prepping one day. That's fine. But then each week I would also spend about 20 minutes portioning out Jericho's daily portions, you know, into individual individual uh, containers. But with Whole Prey, I think I'm going to be able to do, so far I've been doing about 20 minutes for two weeks of food. So already that's cutting the time in half. Right now I'm using Viva Raw, so that's complete ground raw food. Everything's in it. I don't need to add anything to it. And then I'm in- introducing Whole Prey. So right now Jericho is eating mice and baby day-old chicks. The next prey that I'm going to introduce is rat. So And then I have hamsters. So it's it's much easier to portion and serve just because it's like the whole prey is right there. You just weigh it. And then let's say you need, like Jericho eats four ounces of food per day and prey is, you know, it ranges in size and ranges in weight. So let's say I have a couple of mice, a day old chick, and maybe I need like half an ounce more. I'll just put some ground food, boom, done. Super, super simple. Now, if you're wanting to feed whole prey and you're currently feeding dry and or canned wet food, AKA any type of processed food, I do have a free cat food mini course. Check the link in the description below. Sign up for that, go through the course, learn a little bit more about the food that you're currently feeding and then like build that confidence to feed raw because I always suggest to transition to a complete ground raw food first and then switch to whole prey because we can't expect our cats to eat natural whole fresh food if they've got zero fresh food in their diet so far. So sign up for my free cat food mini course in the description and that'll take you along that journey and prepare you for the switch to raw and that's going to build a very solid foundation so that you and your cat are ready and less overwhelmed and less stressed to switch to whole prey. And then next week I will show you how I meal prep Jericho's food transitioning into whole prey. Thanks for watching.